hi everyone and welcome back to another video from art smart academy thank you guys so much for clicking to watch this week's tutorial which is going to be on finger painting on a bisque plate a salad room plate we have these available in our studio um and i'm just going to go ahead and get started i have a couple glaze colors with me i have yellow lavender and a pink and green and then I have an under glaze pencil but I'll show you how to use that a little bit later so just starting with clean fingers I have a rag that's a little damp and a dry rag I'm going to take my yellow glaze starting from light to dark color and I'm going to from this knuckle up put a little bit of glaze on my finger it's just in this two ounce cup, just like that, making sure that it's evenly coated. And I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess, right? So let's see. Starting with the brim that's closest to me, I think I'm gonna start from the outside in and I'm gonna wing it. If you would like to use a water-based marker to do some outlining, you can, but I'll just go ahead and wing it. Taking my finger and my other finger, I'm gonna press firmly down. Depending on how much you have on your finger, it might last you a couple of prints, making sure that I'm going in firm and going over a couple times. Remember to pull, once I press down, to pull straight up and not drag any glaze anywhere that I don't want it to show up once it comes out of the kiln. At this point, I'm gonna continue to rotate the plate and you can watch, but I'm gonna fast forward the video so if you need to pause to catch up um, between each flower, you can do that. Okay, while those are drying, I'm gonna show you how to use your green to make leaves, still using your finger and a underglaze pencil. Not using water um, color or water-based markers because those will burn off. So taking my green and my underglaze, this is just glaze in pencil form. So it's going to stay, it's going to last. Just taking my underglaze, I'm going to draw a stem, curved line up, and then have a couple branch out. I'm gonna wait because I'm not sure how big the pink is gonna be just yet.
making sure my lines are nice and clean. Once I have them where I want them, I'm just going over with another layer. <sighs> Being sure not to do what I just did because it's gonna smear. So if you make a mistake doing this, you can take a piece of sandpaper and sand it off a little bit. But I'm just going over those lines a couple times for a solid look, okay? And then as before, taking my finger and my green paint. I'm gonna place it. And these will be my leaves. In order for this underglaze to stick and show up once this has been fired in our kiln, I have to make sure that I scrape a little through the glaze of my fingerprint so that it sticks to the actual bisque plate. Alright you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and book your spot for Christmas in July, which is July 16th. But the last day to book is this Friday, July 10th, so that we can place your orders as they come in. When you place your order and then you bring in three non-perishable food items, you'll get to paint one free ornament with your Christmas heirloom um, tree. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll link those in the description below. Have a good day and I'll see you guys in our next video.